Well, students in Monroe learned an important lesson outside of the classroom today, and it was all about crashes like those. They witnessed, though, what could happen if they drink and drive. Madeline Watkins was at the scene of a mock crash and joins us live tonight with how it impacted the students. Madeline? Yeah, Mel, so it is prom and graduation season for students and high school students, but it's also the deadliest season for teen drivers out on the roads. That's according to AAA. So teachers at a Monroe school wanted to show the students what could happen if they make those poor decisions when getting behind the wheel. And I want to say everything that you're about to see in this video is completely staged. And you see like them actually going to your friends and those are people you know now laying there and you're like, what if that was real? That could be me. I mean, I was just trying to picture myself in that situation, like the future, like if, that could be my kid laying there. This staged car crash left a lot of students thinking about their future, thinking about the next time they get behind the wheel and how important it is to make smart decisions. Senior Katie Fiera is best friends with two of the students in the mock car accident. But what really got me was seeing their parents, like seeing the like moms start crying was like, you just can't imagine like actually doing that to a parent and making them feel that way. St. Mary Catholic Central High School did the same presentation five years ago around prom time and wanted to bring it back. Monroe Police Commander John Wall says showing the students firsthand what can happen when they get behind the wheel under the influence is one of the best teaching lessons. But you can say it, say it, say it, but then when they really see it and they see what the consequences can be, they actually see the, like, whoa, this is, there's a lot that goes into this. Students watching from the sidelines as paramedics are trying to save their friends is a sight they say they never want to witness in real life. And seeing them on the ground or possibly dead was really impactful and really made me rethink what was going on and what I could do to prevent this from ever happening. People are going to try to experiment and drink and drive and think it's okay, but the reality is that we don't really get to see it up close and personal as often is that it doesn't just ruin lives, it ends them too. So this mock car crash was put on by several agencies of Monroe first responders, as well as the student prevention leadership team at the school there. Their motto is choose to refuse. Live in Monroe tonight, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.